This presentation is the powers of two. The students at this point know two things uh, that we're going to talk about today. They know that numbers come from units and that numbers have factors. Today we're going to be adding to that and the students are going to be looking at how numbers that are made from the same factor have power. So I'm going to start by introducing the students and saying this is our unit. If I take a second unit cube I now have 2 to the power of 1. I have a congruent prism that I can use and I can bring that down and show them that these figures are equivalent. And now if we take this two times, we would have 2 to the power of 1 two times. Or the students might notice that this makes a 2 square. We also have an equivalent figure for this, and that's represented with a green, a green square. If we take 2 square two times, the students now might recognize this as our 2 cube. And we can label it 2 cube. We have a, a cube that is congruent here. Now if we take our 2 cubes two times, we have 2 cubed two times, and that is the same as 2 to the power of 4. We have a congruent figure in our prism that we can set next to it. If we continue and take this two times, so we have 2 to the power of 4 two times, this is also equal to 2 to the power of 5. We have an equivalent figure here that we can set to the side. And if we place this figure on top, it shows that we are taking 2 to the power of 5 two times, and that's also equivalent to 2 to the power of 6. Now that we have built the, the large cube that shows 2 to the power of 6, I'm going to have the students dismantle the cube, and we'll talk about the base 2 and to their powers. We'll show those examples. So here we have 2 to the power of 6. Then we have 2 to the power of 5. This shows us 2 to the power of 4. This shows us 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3. We have 2 squared, or 2 to the power of 2. We have 2 to the power of 1. And then what we're left with are our two units. And we know that we have the congruent figure here. So the last one that we're going to talk about is if we have just one unit. And we know that that was very important. So we want to give our unit its own special name. And we're going to name our unit cube 2 to the power of 0. And here's where we're going to introduce talking with our students about the value of each of these. 2 to the power of 0 is our unit cube. We know that that is worth 1. Two to the power of 1 shows us that we had the two unit cubes together. Its value is 2. 
Here we have 2 squared, so we know that this is 2 times 2. We have 4. The students should know 2 cubed is equal to 8. Here we have 2 to the power of 4, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 16. I would let the students work on the next 2 and tell me that 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. 2 to the power of 6 equals 64.